Rainbows, we are back with another episode of The Royal Family. We have a lot to cover in this episode. As you guys just saw, Adric and Desta are now engaged. We also have two more engagements happening in this episode, so we'll get to those in a little bit. We're going to see Aisha briefly in here too because she is going to be moving to San Myshuno, so we'll see her new place. And then we're gonna go see Alice May and the teens in Sulani. We're going to talk about the other intro that you guys saw in this episode episode two of Caspian and Alice May. So yeah, I'm really excited for this episode. So if you are too, make sure you hit that like button. Before we begin, if you have not seen them yet, I did post six story posts on my Instagram. Those are linked below if you wanna go read them before you watch the rest of the video, or if you are here during the premiere, since you can't rewind or fast forward during the premiere, if you just wanna read them like while the video's going, cause most of them we'll talk about at the end of the video. The first one was of Caspian and his mother Nia. The second one was of AM and Caspian just chatting outside the palace. The third and fourth one, they count as one, but it was split into two parts, but it was of the teens going to a dance club in Brindleton Bay together. The fifth one was of Genevieve and Cornelius and some tea on Genevieve. And the sixth one was a little text conversation between Alice May and Caspian. The one about Genevieve, we're actually not even gonna talk about this episode. We're gonna wait to talk about it until the next episode. The rest of those posts we will talk about towards the end of this video. And then also just so you know, because I did mention in the last episode, Episode, I thought Samaria might be having the baby in this episode, but just for timeline purposes, I don't think it's gonna be until the next episode. So episode 63, and then the episode after that, I think is when Han and Araminta are gonna be having their baby, so episode 64. But I do think that Corn Farm's wedding is going to be in episode 64. So yeah, I'm excited for that. But I just wanna let you guys know, sorry, no babies in this episode, mostly just engagements and then other stuff going on with the story. But we are at the Dark Ride Palace because, so Adric and Desta, I kind of figured they would have already celebrated their engagement. So now we're at the Dog Ride Palace because we have a very small birthday party that we're throwing for Elon and Natalia because they're gonna be turning into young adults. And this is our second proposal because Elon's going to be proposing to Natalia at their birthday party as well. So it's really just, I invited like Jabari and Amira and Cedric should be here somewhere. Alice May's not here because she is in Suwani with her friends. So she had to miss it. She's not here. And then we just have like a few of their friends here. So I have Arya and Gabriel. And then I have Makana and Kimmy should be here somewhere too. Because Natalia got along with Kimmy pretty well. And I think she got along with Arya. And I can see Gabriel and Makana getting along with Elon as well. So it's a very small birthday party. I am going to have like the guests are just arriving. So I know we were just here in the last episode. You guys got to see the ballroom. But yeah, here's our newly engaged engaged couple. So it's Adric and Desta. Oh, and Cedric's already here talking to Sissy. Why does he look angry? <gasps> Cedric, are you tense? Wait, I've never seen Cedric angry before. I'm going to have Adric try to calm down his cousin. Wait, Jabari's angry too? I am i don't know. I don't know why they're both angry. Oh, there's Kimmy. I'm going to, oh no, Kimmy, come back. Desta, call, Ki or I guess just go talk to her. That's fine. But Natalia is talking to Arya and then Elon is out here too. Why don't you go talk to them? But yeah, I just wanted this to be a small thing. So I didn't invite Natalia's mother. If you remember when we first met Natalia, her mother, she, oh, let's see if I can uh, find her on here. Okay, yeah, here's her mother, Marie. So if you remember when we first met Natalia, her mother, Marie, was like trying to get her to talk to Adric because she wanted her daughter to be queen. And then she ended up meeting Elon instead. She didn't realize that it was Adric's brother and she ended up falling in love with Elon and then her and her mother kind of had a falling out because she stood up to her mother and told her that like, no, I want to stay with Elon. I love Elon, so I want to stay with him. I think by now, since Natalia and Elon have been dating for years, it's definitely come up by now that her mother wanted her to be with Adric at first. And I think Elon, I mean, he was probably a little hurt at first just because his girlfriend's mother, like he was not her first choice, but I don't think Elon's one to dwell on that. Plus Natalia chose Elon anyway. So yeah, that is why I did not invite Natalia's mother. And then we have Zamora here. Oh, Jabari seems like he's in a better mood. Okay, good. Let uh, ask about day, I guess. And then, oh, Cedric is in a better mood too. Yay. All right. 
Sissy and Cedric, you guys hang out. You guys are like this cute little cousin duo. And then Amira's dancing, she's just jamming. Ari and Gabriel, of course, as I mentioned in the last episode, it's gonna be a while before they try for a baby. They're just enjoying married life. I mentioned this in the story post that I mentioned in the last episode too. It's just that they had to like hide their relationship for so long. Like for years, they had to sneak around. They just want to enjoy being married like a couple and being able to be a couple. So they're gonna wait a bit before they try for a baby. And Kimmy and Makana are sitting here at the bar. Why are they, are they sad? Oh no, oh, they're embarrassed or he was embarrassed. Oh, it's because they're both loners. So they don't like the big parties and stuff, even though this isn't a big party, but they just wanna be away kind of from everyone else. I'm gonna have, okay, I'll have Makana ask for reassurance. So here's the thing with Makana and Kimmy. I mentioned this in the last episode too, how Kimmy has started to hint to Makana about getting engaged. And I will tell you guys, the other couple getting engaged in this episode is going to be, so Manuel is going to be proposing to Juliet. And of course, Manuel is Kimmy's little brother. So I mean, her older sister, Aria is married. Manuel is going to be proposing to his girlfriend. Other couples are getting engaged. I really think Kimmy wants to get engaged at this point. She's like, like not that she, that all influences her, but I just think that she's ready. And she's still been hinting to Makana about it. She's really not one to be very straightforward and say like, when are we getting engaged? Like that kind of thing. But they're flirting right now. He's feeling flirty. They're really cute. I'm gonna have you guys hold hands and be cute. So let's do compliment appearance. They're so cute. I love that they always try to get away from the parties together. But people are dancing and stuff. I am going to have Elon and Natalia blow out the candles. So I'll have Elon Elon blow out the candles first. I don't think that they're like the exact same age. Like their birthdays are probably a few months apart, but I, oh, okay. But I just wanted to have a joint birthday party for them. So Elon, he's cheerful and he's a genius and he wants to be a Renaissance sim. Well, let's do random. He is a dance machine. Ah. Let's do something else. Let's, uh, loves the outdoors. Okay, I can see that. So he's cheerful, genius, and he loves the outdoors. Alrighty then. And then you are going to add the birthday candles again. And then I'm going to have Natalia age up into a young adult. So she's gonna blow out the candles. Okay. Oh, they're matching. I just realized that. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so she's aging up. Oh, I didn't realize she loves the outdoors and she's the genius. Um, Her aspiration was to find her soulmate and I think she found him. Oh. I can see her being compassionate. She's also really laid back, which I think is a big reason why she gets along with Kimmy. Oh, she's also just really sweet. One of those people that you just love to be around. So cheerful. Elon's cheerful already though. I mean, not that she can't also be cheerful, but I thought I had a sweet trait. Oh no, I do. Okay, sweet. Yay. All right, that is her trait. She's so cute. I love them. So I am actually, um, well, I guess they should have tables in here if they want to eat, shouldn't they? I probably should have like a dining area because this is a very big open space. So maybe like a ballroom area and dining area. All right. I'm gonna make chairs up here, hold on. Okay, I have now made a dining area. I probably won't keep this here. It's mostly just for this party so they can have a place to eat here. There is a dining room upstairs, but just for this party, I just wanted to keep everyone in here. And I want everyone to gather here and like eat the cake because I want everyone to be here when Elon proposes to Natalia. Oh, but you guys should probably uh, sit to get, or actually let's wait for everyone to get their food. I'm gonna have you guys stop eating and I'm gonna have you go right here. So it's kind of like Elon's going to be making a toast when they all sit down to eat. Okay, pretty much everyone is sitting now. So Elon, get up and Natalia, get up. So Elon's just gonna make a little speech. Thank everyone for being here. I think he would mention Adric and Desta, like how happy they are for them for getting engaged too. Then I think he's gonna make a little speech about how amazing Natalia is and how much he loves her and just how happy he is that they've been together. I mean, at this point, they've been together for a really long time, like over five years. And oh, he's giving her a back massage, okay. But now he's going to propose to her. Prince Elon is proposing to Natalia, yay! Oh my gosh, they're cute. They're so cute, yay! She said yes, and they're matching. I did not plan that. They're engaged, you guys. Oh, they are cute. They're so cute. So now Adric and Desta are engaged. Elon and Natalia are engaged. I'm excited for all of them. I'm gonna have Adric and Desta kiss too. Samora's excited. All right, yeah, but everyone's gonna congratulate them. They'll hang out here with everyone. Cedric's just dancing. Look at him. 
love. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna watch him dance. <laughs> He's so cute. We did this when he was a toddler too. We would just watch him do like the toddler bob and now he's just jamming a dance at the party. Jabari's dancing too. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so cute. I love this so much. As much as I just want to stay here and watch Cedric dance, we do have to go. We're gonna go see Manuel next because he's gonna be proposing to Juliet. But this was fun. This was cute. I'm so excited for them. We are now with Manuel and Juliet. They are on a date in the city. So I thought it would be really romantic if they got engaged here. On the stream, someone had suggested, because I did think it was a little odd to call it Paris since like Willow Creek is supposed to be inspired by France. It's not supposed to be France. So someone on the stream did suggest that we should call it Lumiere City, which I really love. I think that's pretty because it's supposed to be the city of lights, especially at nighttime when the, Eif I we can call it the Eiffel Tower. That's fine. When the Eiffel Tower lights up, it's gorgeous. But this is where Manuel is taking Juliet on a date. It's supposed to be a hotel, but it is, it's a restaurant. They have a private little room downstairs. It's very romantic. I'm going to have them order food, so order for the table. But I did mention the last episode because I wasn't sure if Juliet and Manuel and Takashi and Elena should get engaged before Corn Farm's wedding. And then people on the streams were saying that Manuel would probably propose first because Takashi does not have the best track record with Elena's family. I mean, he's apologized for what happened when him and Elena woohooed in Cornelius' room, but I think things are still a little bit tense. Cornelius is not the biggest fan of Takashi still, so I think Takashi's gonna wait a little bit. However, since I mentioned before that Kimmy is very much like, like she won't directly ask Makana when they're gonna get engaged. She mostly just hints at it. I do think that Elena is one to be very direct with Takashi and after Julia and Manuel get engaged, I'm sure Elena is gonna be like, um, are you gonna propose to me soon? I think Julia and Elena have told Takashi and Manuel that they wanna have a double wedding. I don't think Manuel and Takashi have a problem with that. They're like best friends. Okay, so they are now getting their food. Manuel is flirting with Juliet. I can't believe that. I can't even believe that they're young adults. Like they're still so baby. They were the babies of the teen group. And Julia and Manuel are just, they're the sweetest. And then I also think that the day after this, so it's a Sunday, they're gonna get engaged. I think the next day is when Manuel, Kimmy, Arya, Nea, they're all gonna go with Aisha when she moves to San Maishuno. So they're gonna help her get settled in and they're gonna explore the city for a bit with her too. I don't think we've ever had, have we ever had the royal family go to San Maishuno? I don't remember actually. But yeah, Aisha is going to move there. Manuel, do you want to eat your food? Should be all set after that. Then you guys can go on a walk. I'm gonna have him propose to her under the Eiffel Tower. I'm really excited. Okay, so they have finished their meal. They left the restaurant. They are now on a walk. I lied. We're not going to be under the Eiffel Tower. I want to be able to see the Eiffel Tower behind them. So now they're talking and flirting. Have you kiss her? And have you guys hold hands? maybe? Yes. All right. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. This is so pretty. I love this so much. Okay, he's doing it. Manuel. Oh, my baby. He's so cute. They're both so cute. Oh, they're engaged. He proposed. They're engaged. Yay. Oh my gosh, they're cute. I think this was really romantic and very fitting for them. Yay, Manuel and Juliet are engaged. I'm sure they'll go back to the palace, to the Willow Creek Palace and celebrate with their families. Oh, okay, Juliet's walking away. I guess they're ready to go. But yeah, we'll say that Manuel's family is also at the Willow Creek Palace and they're having a little celebration together. But we are actually gonna skip through that and we are going to go to San Maishuno with Manuel and his family because we're gonna be moving Aisha. Aisha there. So yeah, let's go. We are now at Aisha's new place in San Maishuno, you guys. I'm so excited for her. Her whole family's here to just kind of see everything. Obviously they have staff to unpack and pack and decorate and do everything for her. Now I do think Aisha paid for this entire place with her own money from her fashion line. I do think that she is working on opening an office here somewhere. We'll say that she's already picked the location, but they're just working on decorating it and 
everything. So she will be living here, but she will be coming back for plenty of the royal events. She'll just be pretty busy working. So we just might not see her as much. You know what? Maybe one episode I will work on doing a fashion show because there are fashion show animations out there. So I'll definitely work on that, but that probably won't be for a while. Okay, so I just have them here. They're in the fashion district, but I don't actually have any fashion like marketplaces or anything like that downloaded yet. I should. And this is probably where Aisha's office is going to be, but I think it's going to be on the top of the building over there. Possibly. I haven't decided yet, but I'll let you guys know. I know I just said that she has a location picked, but for story purposes, we will say she does. Meanwhile, in the background, I am still figuring it out. Actually, why don't you guys, why don't you guys just go order food from here? Wait, hold on. Is this their cousin? <gasps> this is a Jay. This is their cousin. He's just here. He, oh, no, 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 wait, come back. Oh, okay. Well, he just left. Oh, that was weird. Interesting. But all right. So they're here. They're going to probably be here for several days visiting Aisha. We got to see her new place. I'm so excited for her. But okay, so we're gonna go now see Alice May and the teens and talk about the story posts and everything. And we'll see the Oasis Springs family later. Super happy for Manuel and Juliet. And of course, Aisha too, being off on her own, being super successful. Okay, so we are now in Sulani with Alice May and the teens. They're staying here for the whole week. Currently, they're at the Mermaid Palace just for the day. And I also have Makai and Lily here with Iolana, their daughter, and Kaikoa, their son. They're building sandcastles with them right now. I think that's so cute. So they're outside doing that. Oh my God, I love them. They're so cute. But yeah, they're doing that. And then all the teens are swimming around. So we have the usual ones here. We have Frederick, William, Molly Grace, Nani, Kaleo, Jessica, and Alice May. I did not have Minerva come. I really think that Minerva's family, I mean, you guys can already tell from Gabriel being overprotective. I don't think her parents are as overprotective, but I do think they are still very strict and I can't imagine them letting her stay in Sulani for a whole week with her boyfriend, even though the friends are there too. I still can't see them saying yes to that. So William's gonna FaceTime her like every day. But yeah, everyone's just swimming right now. We got Nani and Kaleo, our mer people. They've got their tails. They look so cool. Look at this. It's just, it's so cool. That's Kaleo just swimming around. So I will talk about the story post that I mentioned in the beginning of this episode. So the first one was of Caspian and his mother, Nia. I had kind of mentioned him going to his dad's for the week in that post. And then it was also Nia kind of teasing him about Alice May and basically just asking, cause he comes home and she's like, oh, were you with Alice May again? And he was like, yeah, we went on a walk with Cedric. And she was like, oh, okay. And he's like, what? And she's like, well, Alice May, just seems like she's very sweet with you, like really nice to you. I think she might even have a crush on you. Caspian just kind of freezes and he's like, no, she's nice to everybody. Like she's sweet with everyone. I doubt she would have a crush on me. And then his mom was like, I don't know. And he's like, can we just change the subject, please? So that's when they talk about him going to his dad's. And then she teases him and is like, Alice May is gonna miss you when you're gone. But that whole thing is just a show. So Caspian does think that Alice May is just sweet with everyone. And he would probably not say this out loud, but I'll just let you guys know. Caspian just, like, he doesn't think he's good enough for Alice May. And I think he does think that Alice May just sees him as a friend. Alice May would have to make the first move for Caspian to like do anything about it. Unless Alice May had a very clear sign of like, I like you, or if she told him that, I don't think Caspian would ever act on it. Cause he definitely has a crush on Alice May, but he is trying to let himself not have that crush. So that was that story post. And the post with Caspian and Alice May chatting outside the Windenburg Palace. It was pretty much just Alice May asking Caspian like if his parents are strict at all. And he's like, no, not really. Like my mother's a little bit more strict, but mostly just for my grades. And Alice May is like, oh, I wish that was all my parents were strict about. And Caspian asks like, is there a reason why they are? So it just gives you some insight on like why they're overprotective. A lot of it having to do with Amira having lost her mother, Queen Alice and her sister, Princess May. And then Caspian kind of brings up the fire from Oasis Springs 
things like just because he was saying yeah I can understand like why your mom might be paranoid about things happening when like all these horrible things have happened to some of the other royal families and it kind of comes up how like Kaleo is related to Harmony because Harmony was Kaleo's aunt but yeah it just comes up that they're related and some things that Jabari had to say about it Alice May says she had overheard her parents one time talking about Harmony and just like something she might have had that caused her to have that like obsession thing. But yeah, then Caspian kind of got a little uncomfortable. He kind of thought at first that Jabari was judging Kaleo just because of who Kaleo's related to. And he was like, well, that's kind of dumb. Like you shouldn't judge someone just because of who they're related to. But Alice May just stopped talking about it. Then the scene ended with him offering to give her his jacket. And then there was the scene of them texting. I won't really get into detail about that one. It was kind of more just like a random scene so you guys can see how they communicate with each other. But then there was the one of Alice May and her friends going to the club in Brindleton Bay. This one was such a fun post to make. So they all went to this dance club to go salsa dancing. King Johan had opened up the club to honor his mother Nina because she loved to dance. But you kind of just got to see Kaleo. He wanted to tell Alice May he had a crush on her, but then kind of missed his chance. The bodyguard interrupted because Alice May needed to call her dad because she forgot because she was supposed to tell him when she arrived to the club. And then we also got to see Nani. It looked like someone caught her eye at the club. So Nani didn't actually go talk to her, but I feel like she might be trying to ask around to see if anyone knows her or maybe she would ask her friends if they could go back to the club and maybe she's hoping to run into her one night so we'll see if they see each other again but yeah that was pretty much all the posts I know that most of you guys have already read them but I just want to go over them for the people who haven't and also just to give you guys a bit more detail but the kids actually okay so they're all going inside I think or they were they were swimming around a second ago I'm going to have them all go here to sit and hang out is Makai playing the piano he is oh okay and then to talk about the intro a bit we're actually you're gonna find out more about it later we're not gonna talk about it too much I mean you guys saw originally Caspian he did have a plane ticket to go to Sulani his dad had bought him a plane ticket but then his flight was canceled so he wouldn't have been able to fly out to Sulani for a few more days like later than planned so AM said that she was going to Sulani anyway to visit her friends and offered him a ride on their plane the royal family's plane. So she took him to Sulani to his dad's and then we saw something strange happen with that boy. I'm actually not even going to talk about that in this episode. We are going to find out what happens in the next episode. But yeah, something suspicious and you guys will see who he is and why he ran away from Caspian in the next episode. But now all of the teens are hanging out. We got Jessica and Frederick. Looks like Alice May is like trying to talk to them, but they're just talking to each other. Got Nani and Molly Grace. William is just standing there. William, do you want to come talk to everybody? Um, ask about day, I guess. Come join the, wait, is Kaleo? Wait, was he just mad? Oh my, wait, Um, yeah. Kaleo is arguing with Alice May right now. Is anyone else going to acknowledge this? You know what? Maybe he found out that Alice May brought Caspian. Okay, they're literally yelling at each other right in front of Jessica and Frederick, but maybe it came up that she gave Caspian a ride to her dad's, or to his dad, sorry, in Sulani. Although that just seems a little bit ridiculous to get mad about. But, okay, so I did mention this in the last episode that William had told Kaleo that Caspian got expelled and that's why he had to move back in with his mom in Windenburg. So I definitely feel like Kaleo has done some digging. He is in a position to where he has access to getting that information or to where he knows people who can get that information. So I think he asked around and tried to find out why Caspian got expelled. So maybe he just straight up tells her, like maybe Caspian comes up, he gets irritated and jealous and then he tells her about Caspian getting expelled and just saying like, you know, that's why he's living in Windenburg, right? And I think Kaleo found out and is telling her that Caspian got expelled because he stole from the school. I think that Kaleo was waiting to say something because I don't think he knows all the information yet, but I think this just comes out and it slips just because Alice May mentioned Caspian. So I think it just came up and he just straight up told her. I feel like Alice May's definitely defending Caspian and just saying like, no, 
we wouldn't do that. Like, that's not true. I'm sure Kaleo is also making a bunch of insults too. And he's like, he's nothing but a thief. Like, are you really gonna hang around with someone like that? And now Kaleo is just really angry and they're yelling at each other, but no one else is doing anything about this. I don't know, maybe William is. Maybe William's, oh, he looks annoyed. He's like, guys, come on, stop, seriously. I mean, he is the one who told Kaleo about Caspian getting expelled. I don't know if Kaleo would have told him that he found out why though. Alice May's like, seriously, stop. Like she is defending Caspian so hard. Oh, she's sad too. Oh wait, no, she's leaving. <gasps> oh, she left. She was done. She was like, I'm not gonna listen to this anymore. I'm not gonna listen to Kaleo talk about Caspian like this anymore. Cause her and Caspian are like really good friends now. And then she does definitely have a crush on him too. Oh, she just like walked away. She was like, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this. She definitely did not like hear. Oh, she's crying. Wait, what the heck? Oh, she really did not want to hear that about Caspian. I really think that she does not think that's true though. And I think she's very convinced that Caspian would not do that. Caspian would not steal. And oh, okay, the lights all came on. Maybe she would call Caspian. Well, I don't know because she might not want to bother him because he's with his dad. Okay, she's texting him now. I don't think she would just straight up say like, hey, I'm sad and like text him. I feel like she would probably send a text that just says, hey, how are you enjoying your time with your dad or something like that. Caspian did say, I mentioned this in the last episode, Caspian told her that she could text him or call him or just come find him anytime she wants to if she's sad. So I I think I'm gonna do a story post on that because I'm sure, I mean, like she's just here. Like this is the first day here in Sulani. She's gonna be here all week. She's already having to deal with Kaleo accusing Caspian of stealing. I'm sorry, it's very bright in here, isn't it? But yeah, I'm sure sometime this week she might call Caspian. So I'll make a story post on that on Instagram. But I do think we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we are going to find out what happened with Caspian and why he got it expelled. Let me know what you guys think on this whole situation though. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please don't forget to be respectful in the comments. Not everyone is going to agree on everything in the story. Not everyone is going to have the same coupleship. It's okay if you guys disagree, but please don't be rude to each other in the comments. We want to keep this a very safe and positive space. Let me know what you guys think of Manuel and Juliet and Aisha moving to San Myshuno and her new place. And then Adric and Desta getting engaged and Elon and Natalia getting engaged. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.